Well, hello church. Welcome to another midweek update from your pastor. A couple things I want to share with you in this update. First of all, I want to uh, talk to you a little bit about this coming weekend. It is the first Sunday in September. It is Fresh Start Sunday for us. And so that's always an exciting time in our church. I realize that Fresh Start 2020 looks a little bit differently than we anticipated, but we still have some new things taking place. We have kids that are promoting into new classes and, and uh, we have some new opportunities for ministry. And so just pay attention to those things. And plus it just um, symbolizes for us and actually marks it on the calendar that we're beginning a new season in our church's life. And so we wanna celebrate that appropriately. Also in the uh, worship service this coming Sunday morning, we'll gather at 9.30 like we normally do virtually online, but we're going to celebrate the Lord's Supper this coming Sunday. And so I wanna make sure you're ready for that. So you got a few days to, to get the elements together for you to, to do that in your home with your family. Some of you may be gathered with some other um, uh, Bible study uh, groups or people who are part of your Sunday school class or however you're doing your worship time together. Just want to let you know we're going to be doing the Lord's Supper together this coming Sunday morning. Then on Sunday night, in fact, every Sunday night during the month of September at six o'clock, I'm going to be leading a, a fall Bible study. Uh, Cindy is going to be there with me and it's going to have an interactive feel to it. So you'll be able to join us on Facebook Live and on live stream and YouTube. But you'll actually be able to ask questions and uh, Cindy will facilitate those questions and I will try to answer them or get her to answer them, however it goes. And uh, we'll just have a conversation. We're going to be studying First John. So if you want to go ahead and start getting ready, it's a very small letter it's a, uh, from the uh, Apostle John that he wrote as a pastor. And uh, I'm looking forward to just uh, unpacking it with you. We're going to also just explore some principles of studying the scripture together and, and trying to learn how to interpret the scripture and apply it to our lives. So that'll be Sunday night at six o'clock every Sunday night in September. I'm really looking forward to that. But then what I really want to talk to you about today is some really big news. You know, we have, we have been out of this room off of our campus since March the 8th. That's the last time we were gathered in this room for a worship to service together as a church family. So we had no idea back then how long this thing would go on. And I wanna thank you for your patience in it all. Thank you for staying connected and plugged in and participating in the life of our church during this pandemic. We've been watching a, a lot of factors. We've been interviewing some other churches. Uh, we've been uh, talking to community leaders. As always, we've consulted people from the medical community as well. But here's the decision we've made. We are planning to regather as a church family back in our sanctuary. And I'm, I couldn't be more excited about it. I miss you so much in this room. I've had a chance to be in here every week, but I've missed you being in here with me. And so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So let me tell you how we're going to do it. September is going to be our month of experimentation. So we're going to be bringing groups in here on Wednesday evenings while we're doing our recordings that are uh, that you see on Sunday morning. And our worship ministry is organizing uh, those groups as they're going to make their way into the sanctuary. And it'll be a time for us to test our protocols and make sure that we can do all of that safely uh, for you whenever we're able to regather as, as an entire family. So we'll be learning and experimenting and hopefully we will be able to do all of that safely. We're going to be hosting some, um, uh, we know we have a couple of funerals that we're probably going to be hosting as well. We want to learn from those also. I've talked to some area pastors who have already reconvened and we've learned some things from them. But then as we get through the month of September, if we can do that safely and do that in a really good way, here's the even more exciting news. Our plan now is the first Sunday of October to have our first regathering as a church family on Sunday morning. And it's going to have an interesting feel to it that first Sunday. So I want you to be patient with us as we get it all worked out. We're going to have to ask you to register for it. So we'll be giving you information about that. The, the uh, seating, you will be socially distanced in your seating. Uh, you will have to wear a mask. And we're going to ask you to, you know, if you're in family groups, you can sit together in those. But we'll, we'll figure all that out for you. We're just going to ask you to, to follow those protocols and we'll get the information to you. But here's the good news. We're going to be back together in this room. And we're also going to open up our fellowship hall, Suite 120 across the street, because we know we have some folks who'd probably rather be in a small group, not necessarily gathering here in the sanctuary. 
So that first Sunday of October, all of those venues are going to be open and we'll give you explanations about each one of them and what all the protocols are. Um, but we'll be experiencing worship together as a church family. So can I just give the Lord a hand, give our church family a hand for getting us through all of this. And so what I would tell you is, you know, what's it going to look like the next Sunday? I don't know yet. We're going to start the first Sunday of October and see how we do. So give us a chance to figure that out. Go ahead and mark it on your calendar. If you feel comfortable coming, we're going to have two services that morning, one at 930, one at 11 o'clock. They will be the same worship offering. So it won't be our, our normal contemporary service and then traditional service. They will be the exact same services, kind of what we've been experiencing already during the pandemic. But the good news is you'll be able to experience them together with some of your church family. So stay tuned and I can't wait to share more information with you about it. Continue to pray with us as we make our way through this regathering uh, plan. We're stepping from phase three to phase four. So if you want to go on our website and look at that, you'll see what that means. Some of you may remember that we, we put together these phases to help us regather. So we'll be stepping into phase four as we make our way through September. And then hopefully as we go into the future, you'll hear more plans that we'll have about our Bible study groups and how we can gather those. Right now, they will still all be um, Zoom, online, or many of you are starting home groups or meeting in various places across the city. That's probably going to have to continue for a while until we're able to actually open up our facilities for Sunday school and Bible study classes. So that's probably going to take us a little while, but we want to get us back together as a body and as a church family. So mark your calendars. First Sunday of October, pray for us as we experiment through September, and I'm looking forward to the future with you. Now, always, you know that uh, we tell you this every week, but you can call us, uh, you can write us, and just let us know if there's any way we can help you. We want to do our very best to do that. But God bless you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your participation in what we're doing. And thank you for praying specifically about these plans for regathering. And I'm looking forward truly to seeing you soon.